looking like they're gonna be ready. They're getting there. Holy smokes, it's open. Wow, look at that. That's awesome. Looks like they got a decent amount of snow too. You could probably already tell we're at Atatash this morning. Uh, this is my first time at Atatash this year, and it's actually my first time here in quite a while. Uh, it's been some time since I've made it over here. But yeah, we, um, we're we parked. There's not too many people else here in the parking lot. Few families, it looks like. Um, but the lifts are spinning. Looks like they got plenty of snow over there. Uh, just going to have a quick... Pepsi, quick morning power up here, give ourselves a little bit of a sugar rush, uh, and we'll get our gear on and we'll get out there. All right. Just gonna make it across the uh, way here, but we're actually gonna hop right on the bus here. Uh, go right over here to the summit triple just because it's a little bit closer to us
like we got a little action going on over here. A little hike park. I don't know if we got like ski school or what's going on, but that's kind of neat anyway, some fun elements. But yeah, let's uh, make our way up here. little ski bench here looks like it's shut down going that way so it's all right but man tons of snow up here check out the map yeah so there's uh quite a bit to explore here but have to kind of make our way around and see exactly what's open but you'll notice there really is a nice view up here all right I like the way that sign looks it's got my name on it expert oh that new corduroy feel I love it Let's see what we get into. A little steeper. It's all right. Got a trail merge here. Nice. So it looks like it's a little bit of a uh, busier intersection but not uh not bad a lot of good skiers out here today it looks like what a run though it is getting cut up pretty quick but the snow is uh, holding firm so should be a good day Friendly orange rope. Whew. I'm loving it today though guys, I'm loving it.
Looks like we got a race course set up here. I'm not racing today. Wish I was though, it looks like fun. Looks like it gets a little congested through here. Not too, too bad, but we'll go this way. By the race course here. Phew! Ah, oh, man. Taking me back to my glory days, seeing this racetrack. I'd love to, love to be out here slapping plastic today. All right, looks like got another chair open over here. But that was so good. I wanna go right back to the top. That was awesome. Whew. How's it going? Thanks.
course I get the only chair that hasn't been sat on yet. Finally, we're gonna go inside, take a look around. I uh, had to replace my battery. My battery died while I was standing out here talking. So anyway, but had a couple good runs. Let's uh, head in under this nice mega giant wreath here. How's it going? Plenty of benches here. Offices. Nice fire pit. This is fun too. Got a couple of chairs you can sit on. Area over here. Might get some food in a minute. As per usual, though, gotta go and use the restroom while we're here. Just head down the stairs. Walking downstairs, never an easy task. And we found it. Just went into the gift shop, picked up a nice little gift basket for gift swap later on. But the gift gift shop's right across from the bathroom anyway. Oh. We got? The bar right here, obviously not quite open yet. Turn style, get in and get your lunch. And all kinds of more seating for you. But it seems like food is just getting going here, so let's we'll go in and grab something. There was a ski patrol conversation going on at the table across from me, so I really didn't talk while I was eating my chicken. Plus, there's just a few other people hanging out in the lodge, so I uh, really didn't want to start doing a whole review. But there you guys go. There's the cross-section. It was a real piece of chicken. Good chicken tender. Um, it wasn't that uh, mushy, gushy chicken nugget stuff. It was a real tender, and it came out of a fryer. And uh, as, as far as the French fries go, they were just the... Um, run-of-the-mill frozen french fries that you've had every single other restaurant that has frozen french fries. <laughs> nothing fancy, and uh, same goes for the nuggets. They were also nothing fancy. Uh, sorry, not nuggets, tenders. <laughs> um, but yeah, they... Uh, it was all it was all good stuff, and with my Epic Pass discount, it uh, was ten twenty nine, as you'll hear me say, when I came out of the lodge, and that's not uh, a horrible price for the nugget and fry combo. But considering that's after discount, it um, you know it's not uh, it's not cheap, but uh, once in a while for a, a lodge treat, uh, yeah, I'd say it's a go. I liked it.
All right, we just had our nice little lunch there. That was uh, like 10.29, I think, after my discount with my Epic Pass. I don't know exactly what the discount was, but um, I also, like I said, I got my gift here from the gift shop. I wanted to take it back to the van before we start skiing again. And I thought just for the fun of it, for the sake of the video, we'd go ahead and walk underneath the uh, road here, just because I think it's fun. I think it's a cool um, thing, especially if you were staying across the street, you know, you'd come and hike under the uh, road here. It's, uh, I don't know, I just thought it was cool. Here we go. Underneath the road. Ooh. We're in a tunnel. Pretty neat, huh? Neato Skeeto. Oh, uh, look at this. We got a uh, map here where we are. The Saco River. Give you some information if you uh, are staying at the hotel here and you want to go out for a uh, stroll. Nice little evening stroll. Yeah, this is it. This is the resort here. I think that's the pool right there. Come over here to Maddie B's. This looks like the real deal bar and restaurant here. Hotel and Suites. But yeah, you can see where I'm um, having this tunnel underneath the road here is actually pretty handy dandy because there's a lot of traffic out there. I made it back to the van at long last. It, uh, it wasn't that bad of a trek. Actually, the walk I just did was a lot shorter than the walk I did at Loon the other day. Um, they had me parked in Siberia, but um, I don't know if the bus will come back around or if I'll just walk back over there. Either way, we'll head back over and get a few more runs in, but I, uh, like I was saying, I think it was 10.29 after my discount for the chicken nuggets and fries, and you know, that's not terrible for mountain food, and you know, it was decent, decent chicken, um, but I didn't want to pay for a drink. It was uh, four, four 25 for a fountain soda. Are you kidding me for a fountain soda? What? No way, dude. I'm not paying that for a fountain soda. Um, so we came back to the car here. Get some uh, soda and some water and we'll head back out to the mountain. Glad we're hoofing it. Decided it was better than waiting around for the bus. The bus did go by, but he ended up going all the way to the other end of the parking lot. And uh, I was just like, yeah, okay, whatever, man. I'll just walk. I waved to him too. I thought maybe he was gonna stop and pick me up, but he just kept on going, so it's okay, no big deal. Just like that, we made it back across the street again. Got the main lodge right here. That's where we got our lunch. See the big giant wreath. And yeah, we got a couple more hours here before we gotta go, so. Just gonna keep uh, ripping it up, turning them downhill. in the triple chair. Look at us go. We're just zooming up this mountain. 
But see, the thing is, that slow poke triple chair takes you way, way higher up on the mountain. So, you know, might be worth the extra weight. But this one, we are just about to the top of it now. We'll see what we can see. Well, I'm gonna say, what do we wanna do? I don't know. Let's go this way. I mean, we'll try and get over to Grandstand here. See what we can see. Got some little side quests here. That actually looks kind of fun. Something we might be able to tango with. Uh, looks like we got some running some drills on the side here. Snow is still feeling really good. Ah, oh, yeah. It's not that corduroy anymore, but it's holding up. Nice. A little icier in some places over here. It's all right though. Nothing we can't tango with. Woo! I'm really starting to feel those edges. Maybe not every turn, but we're back, baby, we're back. Listen to him bark. Fine. It was good. Damn, dude. I'll go faster this time. All right. Mixing it up. We're gonna head back the other way now. Beautiful view. God, can you imagine? Imagine if that was open right now. This place, it looks like they got more snow than, uh, well, where have I been since it snowed? I think I've only been to Gunsock since we had that snowstorm, but this place looks like they got hammered with snow. And this trail here is closed off, but let's pull right up to the edge of it. God, look at that, huh? It's hard to tell what's underneath that. It could be ugly, but I'm looking at a glistening pile of powder right now. That being said, it could be crusty, could be bumpy, could be lumpy. And I'm sure there's stumps and sticks underneath it, but my God, is it glistening? Look at it. Plenty of snow to go around now. As we make our way down, look up there. It's just beautiful. Ah, back in the sun, I like it. What do we got off the edge here? A little cliff action here. I don't know. Yeah, actually, really not much to uh, trifle with on this 
little cliff action. But we're gonna bomb it down this edge here. Let's head down here and let's get back on the uh, summit lift, yeah? Have some more fun at the summit. Race course here. Woo. A little sticky in all this powder here. It's all chopped up right on the edge. This groomer. But yeah, this looks like a lot of fun. I thought about it for a second. Just for a second, I thought. I was like, do I ask him? Do I ask him if I can run it? But I was like, nah, you know, they get real particular. They're out here practicing. It's a sport. They take it serious. So we'll leave them to it, but let's get down here. And You know, I'm realizing I didn't take you guys inside that lodge. I only took you guys inside that one over there. <sighs> That's okay though. We'll be back here. We'll check out the other lodge another day, but uh, I just did two more hot laps on this lift. Just ripping it friggin' hard, fast, straight, downhill. Just about as aggressive as you can get. And uh, the problem is the other chair that's over there actually both of these chairs these short chairs that don't take you to the top uh, from both of them you can reach this spot over here uh, next to where they have the race course set up and it's getting really congested right there and ground down to ice luckily my skis are sharp and I can catch an edge so you know I come bombing in coming in hot just friggin' cut my way through, get around everybody, but it's getting pretty congested over there. Um, and I think like the afternoon crowd is starting to roll in. And uh, yeah, anyway, we'll we'll probably uh, wrap things up shortly, but we'll do another run. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about, all that congestion over there. And then I think we'll get back on the, uh, the flying Yankee over here. And, get another laugh in on that trail because that was pretty fun over there too. What a day guys, what a day. Nice view, nice sunshiny day. This is probably gonna be, this will probably be the last time I make it up to the peak today. Like I said, I'll take you guys down and show you uh, what I was talking about, where it's getting a little congested and a little icier than it was earlier. Gorgeous, huh? I think we can all agree it's beautiful out. Uh, everything that's in the sun is still nice and soft, but some of this stuff that's over here, 
that has been in the sun for most of the day, but now it's in the shade. It's getting a little harder, a little choppier. You can definitely hear it. It's getting a little icier, but you can still catch an edge. It's nothing, uh, nothing that we can't handle, you know? It's really not bad at all. It's still a lot better than what we've been skiing on at other mountains this year. Nice and soft down here in the sun. Feels really good. see we got a chair right here and this is where most of the traffic is we got a quad chair dumps you right here and this is the only exit from that trail I've been running from the peak there uh, it's actually the only exit from the peak that's open I believe right now um, but yeah coming through here looks like I hit it just right and it's relatively clear. Not a lot of people out here, but yeah, this whole section, the last run I did was a total death trap coming through here. Just too many people. And it's getting carved out. So you got piles of powder mixed with sheets of ice making for wipeouts for all these youngsters out here. That's icy right there, but we'll come back over. Woo! Nice. It's really just that section there and you can see some of these guys there shaking. It's a little icier, but it actually looks like what happened to the uh, racers there. Looks like they're all done maybe, I don't know. But everything that's out in the sun, the snow feels so good right here. Nice and soft. Oh. All right, we had a blast out here, guys. But check this out. We got our shuttle pulling right up here. Take us back over to the parking lot. But yeah, we had a really nice day out here. Let me show you guys how this is done. Grab your skis, like so. Bada bing, bada boom. Whew. All right. How's it going? Good. How you doing? Good. Yeah, the 20 minute triple ride comes in handy on a day like today when we need a break. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was good.
You're on the right or the left? On uh, the left, that monster truck van, that's actually me. Uh, yep. <laughs> Oh yeah, she's four wheel drive too. Yeah, oh nice. <laughs> Thank you. You need that up here. Oh yeah, definitely. Have a good one. Enjoy. All right. Just like that. What a day here at Atatash, guys. Beautiful day. Riding around on the shuttle. Crawling around through the tunnels. <sighs> Just another day. Just another day in paradise, really. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we had an attastic day here at Atatash, I gotta say. Loved it, 10 out of 10. Uh, snow was great, weather was great, conditions all around. Um, impeccable, impeccable day. Uh, glad we made it out here, glad we were able to get in as many runs as we did. Um, just felt great, uh, fantastic day. So. Yeah, anyway, thank you all for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed me uh, fooling around here at Atatash. And there's definitely more ski content to come, so be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what i got to show more of. What do you guys want to see more of on the mountain? You want to see more technical stuff? You guys want me to get into the nitty-gritty of how to ski? Do you guys want me to just uh, live it up? Should I um, do a little bit less skiing and more shenanigans, perhaps? Perhaps we got to do a little bit more mountain shenanigans we haven't really done too much of that but we got a food review in this time food was pretty good um obviously pricey because we're at a ski area but hey um that's the way it is that's life anyway thank you all for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one